I'm gonna do my best to kind of just read through this as fast as I can because, like I said, it is 20 tweets. Um, but to just just to pretty much start it off, right? The whole I wish my sons to thrive, right? We memed on that so hard. Okay, let's be honest. Raditz did not thrive. That is literally one of the things that we said and that we firmly believe just because it's like we kind of just figured like well man's was just not at the right place at the right time or he was at the right place at the right time meaning not on his own planet which is ideal right because he prevented his own death but then ended up ends up dying and that's kind of like all we really see of raditz right but the actual line that bardock is supposed to say is i want both of my sons to grow up well that's all i would wish for right so that's how it starts off so then um he goes on total bow is gone and then here's Manito's response after hearing bardock wish that he completely agrees with bardock wishes must be used to create hope for the future right so hope for the future equaling ensuring the future generation being safe aka bardock's sons and this is actually an interesting point though because basically what they go on to um say is that like wishes should do just that they shouldn't be selfish wishes right so um so the fact that originally if you guys remember my naito was going to wish for bardock to go back to planet vegeta right he was gonna have him go back so that way he was safe away from gas being a threat and, and essentially, basically, Manito took responsibility and ownership of their, like, doom that was about to happen. Like, because if Bardock wasn't there, he would have died and and freaking uh, Kid Granola would have died too, right? So, in this context, it's almost taken as if, like, that would have been selfish. It would have been more selfish to do that, to, you know, send just Bardock right and and save him over what bardock you know said was like i want my sons to grow up strong type stuff you know what i'm saying so this makes a little bit more sense and you guys can feel free to just cut me off at any point if there's anything that you guys want me to like i don't know maybe like go over a little bit more um now you're just kind of recapping so it's all good right now yeah okay yeah. so so yeah so 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 all that right is is what is like the kind of like back and forth like the like the concepts of like what's a selfish wish and then what's not a selfish wish and you know how manito did change his mind because he realized like yeah like that you know would be the best thing to do is to you know take take bardock's word and you know help the future right and it's so funny because bardock even though he's been he's he's pretty much written differently for dragon ball super now he still has like those future themes that he remember like he had that in the original version of how he was and he like saw in, he literally saw into the future like he we haven't seen him doing that now but i feel i still think that was a little interesting that it's like damn even though like he's different he still has like a little like some flavors from how he used to be or not used to be but you know what i mean um yeah. uh so then so yeah obviously the whole part where like we don't actually see the wish you know being granted um but it's kind of like up to interpretation low-key in a sense um just because like yeah we didn't see it and that's kind of like what causes like all the speculation and all that kind of stuff um but we're gonna get into where the wish kind of took effect like as you know i guess proof that it definitely did happen right so dbs chronicles goes to say let's say bardock wish was granted right so this explains everything about how Radish and goku survived the explosion Radish joined vegeta gang due to the wish because Torumbo knew Vegeta is someone who will ignore Frieza's call, thus saving his group's lives, right? And then they even have the, the one manga panel of where they're on some other planet. Vegeta's like eating like some fruit or some shit. And then even Raditz is shown saying like, don't you need to go back? You are the prince after all. And then Vegeta's like, forget it. 
we'll just pretend we didn't hear it right so that's like a way that you know one would feel like okay like this is this is like some evidence right and then obviously as far as now oh I, and obviously like you know i'll just say this is to get out of the way like bardock went back to put goku on the freaking pod to send it to earth right that much is obvious we already know about that and then we know what happens after that right um but this was an interesting part and this is kind of um a take that i didn't really think about but it fits right and it's something that i'm sure we were all like kind of wondering like well what exactly did he do right did bardock like when he did when he when he powered up right and he was able to take gas out like like knocked his ass right back into the kid form low-key right how the fuck did he do that what was it you know what do we even call that was that something was it it was this what broly did you know what i'm saying like that's what right. pe people ask right so he makes a good point here and he says that as for goku Torumbo gave a boost to Bardock, which he thought of as a Saiyan's evolution. Torumbo knew the only way to ensure Goku grows up well is Bardock surviving this in one piece. And we know he was right. So the wish itself served as multi, it was like a multifunctional, multi purpose wish that in order to ensure the future of his son's safety, so they, so they did grow up you know as you know adults and they lived their lives bardock had to win right so uh, that makes perfect sense it's just kind of upsetting as far as like <laughs> the reason behind it you know yeah 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 that is that is that is uh that's very true brandon you have any thoughts so far or you just i mean that's just weird to be honest <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't get it <laughs> all right so so yeah so so that is kind of like the the evidence supporting this whole bardock power up right um now here's the here's another interesting it even goes a little bit further in, within the same chapter right so then he says now bardock defeated gas with a power boost by torumbo he's tired then comes elik skilled shooter elik shoots bardock but he misses okay he misses because the wish is still protecting bardock right so then he fur and then he further fires three shots but none of them reached him and then right when he was about to shoot him over the fucking the cliff right frieza called you know what i'm saying so it's just like this wish is 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 really out here like making sure like hey like you're not fucking with this timeline low-key you know what i'm saying but is what that you, just yeah. like a coincidence? But like, see, what if but it is, is a coincidence? coincidence? But, it's but that's a coincidence. Chain that doesn't make no sense. That something bro. like someone gets saved, bro. Like I feel like it's a bunch of bullshit, bro. <laughs> Niggas is just overthinking, bro. I'm just shutting this shit down right quick, right next quick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. Like, like, like. First of all, th th hold on, bro. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here but we go. Didn't Bardock, Bardock decline the first wish, right? So, oh, so remember the, that right? the wish yeah. that he was offered to be sent back to Planet Vegeta. Yes, he said no. I don't want that to happen. I would rather die fighting. Right. So after that, he wasn't like there was no there was no projection for like a second wish for him in that. From what I remember, like the the man didn't ask for another wish. He, this man Bardock just like made his own wish up. Like if there was a wish or whatever. Like, right like you know what i mean this is so yeah so this is this whole thread is basically like trying to prove that if that was in fact a wish there's evidence backing up the wish if it was if, if it was real i mean but but for the wish to even happen the man needed like the dragon or whatever needed permission from bardock itself even though that was because the whoever whoever summoned him in the first place didn't ask him oh like uh whatchamacallit what, what's this line that bardock gives i want both of my sons to grow up well or whatever right like like the man who summoned the dragon didn't ask the dragon like for that wish for bardock for bardock to then confirm the wish to so it happens you know what i'm saying bro <laughs> it's like yelling at me 
<laughs> Does that not make you see what I'm trying to say though? Like it's hard to word it just because like you know I'm thinking fast, but well okay, think of it like this. Oh, that's that good shit. <laughs>